basically starting in 2005, the province of Alberta has been placing strychnine baits to target wolves in an area where caribou are in decline. largely due to development and resource extraction. Well, ostensibly, it's to recover a dwindling caribou population. Um, the reality is their habitat has been pretty much destroyed, uh, impoverished, fragmented, and that continues. There is still a very strong industrial footprint within caribou range. Largely oil and gas, but there's also been some logging and there's some recreation in there too. Basically the intention is to target wolves, but pretty much everything on the landscape is dying because poison is an indiscriminate killer. In our spinal column, for all the nerves that are coming from our hands, they have to connect before they get up to our brain. And, and same way on the way down. So those inhibitory neurons are the things that stop us from all being spastic and having all our muscles maximally working all the time. And what strychnine does is it blocks the inhibitory nerves. It it's, it's, uh, causes a lot of anxiety and discomfort pretty quickly because the animal stops being able to um, have control over its voluntary movements. It loses voluntary control. Muscles are, are contracting sort of randomly and against each other, but nothing can happen. You know, so it's like having cramps in many different parts of your body at the same time. They get um, extensor rigidity which means that their legs are back and their back is arched and their neck is back. And, but at the same time, mammals have to breathe by moving their lung, their ribs in and out and their diaphragm up and down. The diaphragm can't contract anymore, so it just sits there. The animal ends up dying most often of asphyxiation. So you die stretched out in a massive body Charlie horse. And then you die of suffocation. They can feel absolutely everything. They can hear everything. They're completely aware and the toxicant gets absorbed quickly. It has its effect within maybe even as fast as half an hour or less. And then obviously animals stop feeding. So that means that whatever's in their stomach, whatever hasn't been needed, hasn't been absorbed yet, is sitting there pretty well in its original state. Carrying feeders like magpies and, 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 and ravens uh, will dig into the gut pile first or into, into the intestines and they'll expose that raw strychnine. And if they, get, if they eat that pellet, they'll die almost, very, very fast metabolism in birds, so they die quickly. And they die at the site and then along comes the lynx, which eats birds or a fish or, or, a, or a fox or whatever else and eats that. And, 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 and it, so they're always getting raw strychnine as they're eating these birds down the line. Uh, yeah, so, and it's and absolutely indiscriminate. The only animal that can tolerate strychnine is a pig, which is amazing, but they can gobble it up like candy. <laughs> the last FOIPN information that I seen on this poisoning campaign, I remember I was around when it first started and I had no idea of the plan, right? I just heard that we were doing it. I wasn't stationed here anymore. I heard that we were doing it and I was surprised that we were allowed to do it. Uh, helicopter gunning wolves and poisoning wolves for ma the management of a species of wildlife because uh, we'd never done that before in Alberta. Uh, I don't even know if Western Canada has a program or anywhere in Canada had a program like that. You know, if you're prepared to put out 29 baits in the wilderness to kill wolves, for the purpose of helping caribou, then you're also prepared to accept that every other animal that eats flesh 
in that entire forest, it's okay to have that as collateral damage if you, if you reach your goal of killing the wolves. And I, and I thought, so what, we've, what we really have here is we have the caribou up on a pedestal here and everything else, and, and the wolf is the one that's the bad guy, and everything else we can kill. This poison is, is not only not sanctioned, it's on the list of not to be used, because we know very well that it's very inhumane, it's non-specific, and basically any pest control that's non-specific is, is really worrisome, and we know this one isn't. Um, and the Canadian Vet Medical Association has a position statement that specifically lists strychnine as a not to be used, not acceptable um, predator control or um, pesticide. Um, the Alberta Vet Medical Association supports the Canadian Vet Medical Association's stand on that, the Canadian Council for Animal Care. Uh, and, and if we don't have that thing in our toolbox, well, then we'll have people that are better trained at trapping, that are better trained at doing other things to catch wolves and, and maybe start to think a little bit outside the box on how to, how to deal with wolf problems over the long term. But if we always have that thing in our toolbox, we probably won't think of other things to do. And so that's why I, I don't support poison anymore. Well, this poisoning program needs to be shut down. Um, it's a disgrace. It's shameful. It's misguided. It's ineffective. And it's a smokescreen as well because it is not going to be what saves caribou in the end. As long as we're still in their habitat, we're ineffective and we're not serious about doing anything to preserve caribou in the long term. I would really like to make sure that Health Canada people at the pest management group understand that that some of these, that, that this particular pesticide is against any ethical or moral stance that we have as veterinarians and as um, just people who are concerned about animal well-being animal welfare, even if you, even if you can accept the, the need, because humans have taken over so much of the world, of controlling some populations, there's humane ways of doing it, inhumane ways of doing it, this is inhumane and unethical, and I wonder if the people at Health Canada who make these decisions understand that. I can't imagine they do.